Hey, what's going on guys? So the most viewed video on my YouTube channel right now is the unboxing video for the launch key mini uh, mark 3 and super dope keyboard MIDI keyboard that I have that I use for uh, my iPad music production as well as desktop music production so Novation just recently came out with a regular full key size version of that keyboard which is cool but in addition to having full size keys they also implemented some hugely uh, important other functionality on the keyboard so I bought it I said you know what let me just go ahead and buy this and if not anything else I can get a another gold mine YouTube video unboxing uh, going so I'm gonna go home right now and I'm going to turn on the camera and I'm gonna unbox this keyboard and show you guys what it's all about all right so and if this is your first time visiting my channel definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell where we do a lot of videos on personal development music production a little video game action in there as well uh, but just all around great vibes so yeah definitely consider doing that and hope you guys enjoy the unboxing let's do this man I'm super excited today guys to be doing a unboxing video of Novation's new Launch Key 37 Mark III keyboard and um, it says it very prominently here on the front create and perform with Ableton Live so this keyboard is designed to work with really really tight integration with Ableton of course it'll work with other digital audio workstations as well um, but this is the keyboard that you want in my opinion uh, if you're an Ableton user like I am and for those of you who know me and who have been on my channel for a little while, you know that I create music uh, a lot of different ways uh, from the traditional digital audio workstation setup that we're going to be talking about today. But I also do a lot of stuff on my iPad and um, other devices like the Teenage Engineering OPZ and things like that. So this is going to be used extensively with Ableton and definitely with my iPad. I'm going to be doing an additional video where I'll probably do like a, a overview of the keyboard and kind of what I like about it, and what I don't. But today, um, I'm just excited to open this thing up, feel the keys and just kind of see how this thing, you know, is. And the most viewed video on my channel is actually the unboxing of the, uh, I believe, the 25 key version, uh, the mini version of this keyboard. And the reason I'm excited about this one in particular is because it has several other features that the uh, mini version did not have, namely the capture MIDI and quantize and click and undo. These four buttons are very, very, very important for Ableton users and to be able to sort of um, have these functionalities on the keyboard built in, I think is gonna speed up the workflow extensively and I'm just looking forward to getting this thing opened and, and kind of experimenting with it. So without further ado, let's do that. See, I can't even keep my hands off it. I'm ready to go. So let's do it. All right. So we are going to go ahead and get this thing opened. All right. There we go. So over here on the box, let's actually look at the back really quickly too. So it says made to create. You can take a look at the other content there, but a really nice design, nice packaging, and it kind of lets you know what it is that you're that you're getting into with this, uh, just kind of straight away on the back. So let's open this thing up, connect launch key, and then it kind of just gives you a little bit of information here and kind of things to do, but I think I'm pretty okay with that. Now the reason I went with the 37 key version is because as I get this open really quick. So here's the keyboard. And the reason uh, I went with the 37 key version is because I wanted something that could fit on this slide out drawer underneath my uh, desk here. And so I can have it under the desk and kind of tucked away. That was my sort of goal and my thought behind this. But when you open the box, you have this keyboard here, you have some paperwork, and we, you know what we usually do with the paperwork. Um, essentially, we can't be bothered with it right now during the video, so we put that away. We have a USB 
uh, type A to type B, I believe, but you know, they call it the printer cable. So we have one of these that comes with the uh, device, of course, and then you have your packaging to make sure nothing gets damaged or anything like that in transit. So we'll go ahead and put these away as well. And then we will take this bad boy out. And so this size definitely, definitely looks really good. And underneath, as you can see, to kind of keep it from kind of the keys from pressing, it comes with another piece right underneath here that we can just take out. And we can finally get a feel for how these keys fail compared to, and yeah, these are, this is fantastic. So here it is. Let me go ahead and get my computer powered up now. And let's go ahead and, and give this a go and see how this, uh, how this goes. So I have the cable over here that came with my mini. So I'm going to go ahead and this is kind of routed over down to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and use this instead and uh, plug this in right over here. And there we go. Right away it says launch key version 0160. And uh, there might be a firmware upgrade which I'll have to see about for this. But for now we're going to go ahead and launch Ableton. And we're not going to do a deep dive, but we're just going to do a quick sort of, just a quick sort of uh, experimentation just to see how this is. And I want you guys to see my sort of real time reaction. Before we do that, I just wanted to kind of quickly go over all of the uh, buttons and kind of what's on the keyboard itself. So we have our pitch shift right over here. We have a modulation wheel, which uh, is cool because it shows you some data about where you're at uh, on the LED there or LCD. I'm not sure exactly. Um, then we have an arpeggiator button, a scale button. We have octave plus and minus. Very convenient. We have our shift and settings button right over here. Track left and right to be able to navigate uh, in Ableton. Then we have a uh, ellipses button, which I'll have to see exactly what that's for, along with fixed chord up and down again to navigate uh, during um, session mode. Yeah, session mode up and down, which is good. And you have your eight knobs, which is kind of like your mixer section, uh, device select, device lock. And then we have this button here, this right bracket or right, uh, or I guess greater than sign. I'm a math guy, so I should know. I should know that has a greater than sign. That is to launch uh, the current row that you're on. And then this changes what the buttons do. Uh, stop, solo, mute. And then we talked about these. Capture, MIDI, quantize, click, undo, and loop. These five were not on the mini version, but are on this version along with play, stop, and record. And good weight to it. Not light, but I would say a good weight. Nice, nice kind of premium uh, build premium feel to it and then we have a sustained pedal port on the back we have a midi out and then we have that lock thing which I don't even fully remember or know exactly what that's for it has something to do with I guess connecting this to a rack or something like that I, I'm not sure and then the USB port there keys feel great let me go ahead and uh, launch something in Ableton like I said we're just gonna do something really quick here um, I'm going to go to like my key section. Yep, there we go. So we have keys launched. And then we can probably, let's see, turn click. So the click button, when I hit it, nothing happens. But let me just see something. Stop. So stop. None of these buttons are doing doing anything right away. That works. This isn't doing anything either. So I probably would need to go into options, preferences, and see. So yeah, this is me basically fumbling around with the keyboard trying to figure out why the transport buttons and the buttons that I was really excited to use uh, on the right of this MIDI keyboard were not working. And you're going to find out in just a couple of seconds exactly what was going on. All right, so I am back. So what was going on there is I apparently had a pretty old version of Ableton installed. And uh, when I connected this MIDI keyboard to the computer and launched the uh, HTML, 
um, begin here portion of the installation process to kind of walk you through some steps. One of the first things was make sure you have um, at least this version of Ableton installed. I always thought that Ableton installs the latest updates automatically. I'm going to have to look into that. Clearly that's not the case, but as we can see, we have a little different look here and just a couple of basic things I wanted to go over is if I launch one of these sounds. So if I did that and then I hit this capture MIDI, let's see what happens. So you get that that's quantizing that and that is capturing the MIDI not exactly the way that I wanted it I think it was offset a little bit but that's the keyboard so I love it so far stay tuned subscribe to the channel like the video all that good stuff as the constant reminders go I'm gonna be doing another sort of deep dive on this awesome keyboard once I have a chance to really really get to use it all right thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and go make some awesome music take care